Hey, you remember when Donald Trump denied claims that he sent COVID tests to Russia during his presidency? Well, guess what? The Kremlin stepped in to say, uh, well, actually, he did. Listen to this from Lester Holt on NBC News just a moment ago. You got to hear this stuff. And it's all over the news, too. Listen. And the claim Trump secretly sent Putin COVID testing machines. Garrett Haig is covering the Trump campaign in Pennsylvania. Garrett, the Kremlin is now weighing in. That's right, Lester. A Kremlin spokesman telling Reuters that Russia did accept shipments of COVID testing equipment from the U.S. in the early part of the pandemic in exchange for Russian respiration devices. Tonight, a former senior Trump administration official tells NBC News this was part of a broader effort to support other foreign governments with supplies, and that Trump liked to personally call leaders to go over the supplies being sent. Woodward reported that Trump sent the tests for Putin's personal use, and that the two have spoken as many as seven times since Trump left office. Office, both of which Trump says are false. Today, the Kremlin denied Putin has spoken to Trump at all since he left office. Lester? Hi, Garrett Hague. So there you are. The Kremlin admits that Trump sent them COVID tests, but says, okay, he, meaning Putin, has not talked to Donald Trump since Donald Trump stepped down as, well, was forced to step down as president. But can we trust them now? Of course not. You know both of them talked. You know it. You know it. That's absolutely awful. And it underscores the claim by the Justice Department that Russia has worked to interfere with the 2024 election to be held November 5th. And that should be of concern because if Trump is talking to Putin and then also lying about news like this COVID test matter, what else has he been doing? Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube and bookmark zennyreport.com and zenny62blog.com and oaklandnewsonline.com and oaklandnewsnow.com. OaklandNewsNowBlog.com.